like an old granny car from the 80s, but this car from Hyundai is actually new and high tech. Really? It's huh. what car people call a resto mod. The company takes an old car model and restores and modifies it. Ooh. Hyundai made a brand new version of their 1986 luxury car called the Grandeur. <laughs> <laughs> and did the same with a model called the Pony. They made little tweaks to some of the stylings like the grill or the side mirrors, but it basically looks like an 80s car with yeah. a very modern electric engine inside. Again, it's uh, very modern with a big display screen and lighting. Have we seen anything on the inside of this yet? I've been I reading all of you. Uh, oh, well, these are just concept cars. Uh, meant to promote their upcoming electric cars. So you, you can't, uh, you can't yeah, buy yeah. one. That's you should have led with that. Yeah. Got people great... all excited. Yeah. And then just pull the rug out from under them right. at the end. That's not right. I can't play my 8-track tapes. I'm not mm -hmm. interested. Mm -hmm. Come on. There you yeah. go. Number eight, lizards are more romantic than you'd think, like shingleback lizards they find a partner and then they mate for life they may spend some time apart but every year they reunite with the same partner and they do this for the duration of their lives sounds kind of like bill gates's arrangement sometimes up to 50 years apparently so huh. good for them nice wow monogamous lizards all right number seven this is pretty cool an artist named tom baker makes these amazing paintings out of snow spray that stuff you spray on your windows that's hard to get off. Did oh, you ever yeah. spray that on your windows? No, no, my parents <laughs> have never let me. He started doing it in the area near his town southwest of London. His tools are pretty simple. Cans of snow spray, an ice scraper, and some small brushes. Look wow. at that. Wow. What the landscapes end up looking 3D, and they really come alive at night when the light shines through the windows they're yeah. painted on. That's cool. But we painted wow. we painted that you know window spray paint once yeah. in our bedroom. Never came off. <laughs> My father was complaining about that for like three years. There were still that must remnants. have happened to my dad, because he said the same thing. You're going to clean it off. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'll clean up. You're not going to clean it off. No, because it doesn't. Co it's hard to get off. See, you never get any of that in the Hallmark movies, right? No. N not the uh, angry dad. Let me tell you something. They can, if she and I pulled some stories together, that'd be one hell of a Hallmark movie. Yes, yeah. it would. Let me tell you. It'd be like the anti-Hallmark movie, yeah. the oh, angry yeah. dad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number six, is it too early to break out that holly? Uh, because people who decorate for Christmas early are often happier. Research in the Journal of Environmental Psychology uh, says many people associate Christmas decorations with happy memories and feelings of childhood magic, and this can ease stress and anxiety. Other people say it helps connect them with family or even people they've lost. At the same time, even though some people believe decorating causes aggravation and leads to family bickering, the study found people end up more cheerful when surrounded by Christmas decor. Mm. All right, number five, pool tables are more popular than ever right now. Really? Yeah, well, Robin, apparently they got really big last year when everybody was stuck inside mm. and, you know, looking for something to do. Uh, turns out they're big on people's wish lists this year, too. Now, where are you going? <laughs> Splurge on one. You got to have the space. Yeah, you do. You got to. You got a big rec room or a nice size basement. But if you do, they've got lots of options to choose from, depending on how fancy you want to get. They got smaller, more portable versions for a few hundred bucks. And then, of course, they've got elaborate ones that are well into the thousands. Mm. Boy, I tell you what, if your friend had a pool table slash ping pong table oh, and it. an above ground pool, yeah. you were over there every day. Right. They were fancy. I mean, but there's some of those pool tables you put the top on, it becomes a ping pong table. Right. Have you seen those? It's a marvel of modern oh, ingenuity. Yeah. The fact that they thought, let's put, you can't even, it's like, it's as if Da Vinci invented it. <laughs> right. Well, you, you get three games in one, you can't beat it. Yeah, you can't beat you can't it. For beat that it. price, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number four. If I said Rivian to you, would you have any idea what that is? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. You would, Tim? I've heard of it, yeah. Oh. My yeah. partner's in the electric car business. All right, so well, it's why. the name of a new company that makes electric trucks and SUVs. They went public with their stock last week. Even though they haven't delivered a car yet, the company is now valued at more than $100 billion. Wow. That's more than both Ford and GM. In fact, Ford was aware enough of the threat posed by Rivian to acquire about 12% of the company through shares that cost them about $820 million wow. in 2019. That 12% is now worth $10 billion. So smart hedge by Ford. The trucks look pretty cool, and they're made at a plant in Normal, Illinois. What do you know? Wow. They'll be when they roll off the uh, assembly line. It'll be uh, seventy thousand huh. dollars. All right. Mm -hmm. Coming in at number three today is National George and Georgina Spelvin Day. Don't know who they are? Well, you wouldn't, because that's actually the point. George and Georgina, or Georgette Spelvin, are not the people you see here, and they're, in fact, they're not real people at all. They're pseudonyms used in theater when an actor doesn't want to be identified. The names are also used if an actor is playing multiple roles or does, wants to remain uncredited in theater. The name may be printed in a program if it's not known who will be playing the part when the programs are made or to keep the identity hidden, the more you know. Huh. Oddly hmm. specific name for yeah. something that's yeah. supposed to be generic. Yeah. <laughs> and number two, check out the most remote hotel in the world. It's so remote that you need a helicopter to get there. The Sheldon Chalet is surrounded by mountains and glaciers at Denali National Park in Alaska. Once you get inside, you are treated to fine dining and luxurious accommodations. A three-night minimum, all-inclusive stay starts at $35,000 per couple. That includes the helicopter ride. Hmm. Yeah. Nope. All right, number <laughs> one, here is a song that's not new. It's from 2015. Little kids seem to like it, but I'm playing it because it has what we all need, more recorder solos. It's called Soyo by the Colombian band Bomba Estéreo. That's how you impress your friend. Yeah. Do they still teach the recorder in grade school? I hope so. Yeah, oh, boy. it'd be a crime <laughs> if they didn't, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Forget more cowbell, bring in the recorder solos. Yeah. They'll remember like the finger counts and like songs instead <laughs> yeah. of your, the letter. Remember? Did you yeah. play that one? Three, five, three, three, five, three, three, five, three, two, three, five, three, four, yeah. six, two, five. I don't remember what the wow. song was, but you are a really like little Mr. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>